welcome to new episode in this episode we'll be seeing resolvers so resolver is a service which we can call before any routes gets activated okay and router will wait until that service or any logic we write return the response okay so just to make it clear and if to understand you what is the exact scenario consider like if you have some requirement like before rendering any component you need to fetch one service and get that response ready before loading that component okay so in this scenario you have to use resolver because resolver is a service which will trigger or we can say it is nothing but an interface which we apply on the routes okay so when that particular route gets activated before activating that route it will trigger that service call fetch the data from the service or api and return it until that router will hold its activity means that component won't be rendered into your angular application so when the when that service has got the data then your component will render and in constructor or in or engine it you can just fetch that data from the router route object okay this is a simple scenario and resolvers are mostly used in all the enterprise application because consider master kind of data that kind of data you need before rendering any component because some component data is are going to be dependent on that data might some configuration or some uh, user roles or anything it can be okay so in that scenario resolvers are mostly used okay so let's check what are the things we need to do so basically we need service ng g s let's say user user resolver is a service which i am creating so this is the normal service we have created so to make this service as a resolver we need to implement resolve so let's implement this again we have to specify the data types since we are not using any interface or anything so let's keep it as any okay so in this since we have implemented the resolve so we need to implement the resolve method colon this is going to return an observable again it will be type of any instead of any you can use your class or the interface whatever you have. okay so let's check like uh, in this resolve function which we, we have to actually hit our api and we have whatever the result we get we just have to return it so user service you can see already we have written our function so we just need to create an instance of user service here it's a private service colon user service let's import it okay so inside this function we have to use the return keyword in this dot user service dot get all get all is the function where we have actually written api call so you can see this dot get this is just a json placeholder uh, api we are using okay so this is the first part what we have to do first we have to create the normal service then implement the resolve then implement that function only then what are the instead of this uh, i have already have created a user service that's why i have used it you can directly make a call from here also using this dot http client okay so this function is nothing but returning whatever the response we get okay this is the first step second step in our route so in app module i have the routes so user master is the component i'm going to use okay so inside this resolve now we have to whatever the response we are getting and that response we will be accessing into this user master component so we need to provide any name to what we can say store that response okay let's say user 
list is equal to now we have to sorry colon now we have to pass our resolver user resolver service okay so this is our next step first service creation and implementing resolve and writing an api call then second in which component you are going to need that resolver so in that route you need to pass it like this resolve then this is the uh, what we can say key where you will be storing the response this resolver is going to return okay so now in user master components let's go to definition okay so in this component we need to create private activated route we need to create an instance of the activated route okay in constructor itself so you can see the same service where which service which uh, which is returning our user all the users that service call was here so instead of this now we can get the same data using our resolver so in constructor itself is equal to route dot snapshot dot data dot then your variable name what you have created in the route that is user list okay so let's add a debugger let's check everything if it's working or not okay so it is successfully compiled okay we have some error here let's see okay so you can see no provider found user user resolver service so we need to add user resolver service in our provider section in app module in app module we have the declaration imports and providers after that is there next is user resolver now once i save that error will be gone okay let me log in click of login it is same wrong character admin then one two three four oh, i should log in yeah okay so now let's click on the user master so once i click on the user master let me add a debug again debugger in resolver also i will add a debugger here so you can observe the flow let it compile okay so once i click the user master so you can see resolve object has been so you can see we have got the debugger point in resolver first so from here we will make that our api call once we continue you can see in i am coming uh, the next debugger point is in service because from user resolver we have again called the get all user function from the service okay so after that my api call will be done now once my route has been successfully loaded so you can see route then snapshot then data you can see user list is there so whatever the response we have got from that service and which is sent from the resolver that we have got into our user component that same we are going to store into our user list okay so this is just a sample example like the what are the response you are seeing right now normally we create uh, api call in our component only so we have done that thing using resolver scenarios can be anything just for the example i have shown you okay so let's revise everything what we need to do first resolver is nothing but a service normal service what 
uh, we are familiar with just the difference is we have to implement the resolve object then implement the same resolve method it is going to return an observable that will trigger route router to activate that route okay then in this resolve function we are actually calling our service which is returning the user from our api then next step we have to add the resolver into into the provider section then on the route we have to use the resolve this is the key where we will be storing whatever the response we get from our resolver and in component you have to create an object of activated route then route down snapshot then data whatever the key you have created you will get the response in for you okay so these are this is the most common and advanced topic we come across when we actually work on an enterprise application where most of the api call we make and based on that we are uh, we show the data on the components okay so just to uh, clarify the scenario like user roles let's say user configuration themes and everything is there so before loading component you need that data to be ready so that's why this topic was there just to load something before your route has been activated okay thank you